Okay, we just had the Microsoft Excel World Championship qualifying round um, a couple of hours ago. So I'm just going to do a quick solve. I was in the PM uh, session. Um, so just import my lambdas here. Um, a quick bit of setup I did is I just labeled these maps. So I labeled this fun, this chess, this YBR, and this um, lake. And I also labeled um, I for like a little ice crystal here, uh, S for a snowman, and B for a banana, just so I can refer to them quicker. Anyway, let's get into it. How many cars in the fun city map? equals the sum of count if the range is the fun city map and the cars are these three things. So that's that bonus. Um, let's do the questions. So what's in the cell? Um, this equals x lookup um, address the contents of this in the fun city map. And I want to look for it in here and return the name. There we go. Next up, we want to add the weight of every item in this laundry pile. So that's going to be the sum of x lookup uh, split text this. And we want to look for it in here and return here. If it's not there, give us a zero. Um, so that's that one. We also have a bonus here of how many t-shirts are in the laundry pile in total. So count occurrences of t in this. Um, and add those up that looks to be 194 so 194 how many chess pieces are total in the 100 by 100 board uh, most of chess uh, so it's these so that's 4971 uh, 4971 what's next oh now we have uh, this so we're looking up a, a rectangle or a, a radius in this thing so I do address to contents uh, this address the map is the chess board and I want to go to uh, address the contents of this cell on the chessboard. Uh, that's just going to spill out the range. So I can just then um, X look up that in here and give me the points back. If it's not there, give me a zero. Um, oh, and I want to just sum all of that up. Uh, sum. There we go. Um, and then for all of the circle ones, well, I'll do them in a minute. Let's just fill these ones in. And then for the radius, I just want to say equals closest on map. And the map is the chessboard. Uh, it's um, this many, at uh, this start, this many steps. We can't move diagonally. And that's it. So that's just going to spill all of the items in a row there. So I want to say um, sum of x lookup, take the first column. And I want to look for it in here. Give here. It's not there, give zero, and I missed a couple of brackets at the end. So 76, let's just drag that down here. Then we have a yellow brick road um, case. So we just want to know the sum of the, the uh, bricks that are adjacent to this either side. So let's just pull out our arrows for a second. Um, and we want this one um, and this one. Um, and basically, because the cells are merged, we're going to need to move two steps uh, each time to find what's in there. So I'm going to do um, find in map, um, find in map, this brick uh, on the maps first. So it's yellow brick road and this brick. So that's going to give me the address that that thing is in, in the map. And I want to say um, move on map, uh, start is here, arrow is here, um, and the multiple is here. I think that's all I need to do. And then I just want to do um, address the contents of that. Address the contents of that on a yellow brick road. Boom, boom, boom. So that's 312. And I just want to sum those things up. What's wrong there? I haven't locked this, this cell. Uh, so that's fine. Sum those. And this should be our answers. Now we've also got a bonus on this yellow brick road, which is basically what's the minimum sum of uh, three cells next to each other, three bricks next to each other. So that plus that plus uh, that. And I want to do equals this plus uh, this plus this. And we can just drag that all the way down and all the way across. Uh, where do the three bricks end? Uh, here. OK, so that's fine. So we want to say um, let A be two call of this. Um, I want to say filter. A where A is not equal to zero. So I just want the minimum of those, which is to the minimum 128. So minimum 
one, two, eight. I guess I'll do the Lana bonus for first before the actual question. Um, so count bananas from odd rows, snowflakes from even rows, and then subtract the snowmen from rows that can be divided by seven. Okay, so here's my lake. I'm just actually gonna block out the um, green cells with an X for later on. Well, I could block them out of anything, but we'll do an X. So I want even rows, so is even row. Um, and that's gonna be times count if this is a banana. And then I basically just wanna do plus um, is odd the row times count if uh, this is an ice crystal. Um, and I need is odd, uh, there we go. And then plus um, mod the row seven um, equals zero. That means it's divisible by seven um, times count if this says snowman. I actually need to minus that, I think. Uh, so let's just check. Even bananas, odd ice crystals. So no, it's odd bananas, uh, even ice crystals. So let's do that again. So odd bananas, even ice crystals. So I'll just flip these. Odd and even. So the sum there is 326. 326. Okay, and then on to um, the hard question, which I now have an easy solution to, which seems to always happen like an hour after the case. Something just pops into my head, which makes it way easier. Um, so I'm going to set a data table up for this. Um, this is example five. That's a robot command, by the way, to set that up now, um, which is really handy. So let's just say um, two row of my arrows. And I basically want to label these like south, north, east, west, uh, southeast, uh, northwest, southwest, and northeast. And then I basically want to do. Um, I want to do the turns, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or the moves, whatever you want to call them. And then I want to say um, extract numbers of this. And I want to then say um, text split this on uh, this and ignore the empties. That's going to give me like what the um, letters only are. So I can X look up uh, those letters in here and give me the arrow, so I've translated those directions to arrows now, um, and then setting up the model. So to solve this I basically want to know a couple of things, so I want to know the cell we're in, I want to know the move we're on, I want to know the step within that move that we're on, the uh, arrow, and the speed, so those are like the five things I need to know. So let's build this, we start from there, um, our move uh, we'll do in a minute, but let's do our steps first, so that's going to be reduce initial value zero, um, and our array is this, uh, lambda a, v, and we just want to say um, v stack a with sequence of v. And what that's going to do is going to give us one to 10, so it's a sequence from v, the first one here, and then the next one, one to four, the next one, one to four, the next one, one to nine, and stack it on top of each other. Because I started at zero, I just need to remove that out though, so let's just drop uh, one row from that. And our move is going to be one, and it's going to be um, if this is greater than this, then it's uh, what we had before. Otherwise, it's what we had before plus one. So now we have all of our moves out. So move one, move two, uh, so on and so on and so on. Uh, now very easy to get our arrow out. So X look up, look up the move in uh, here and give me the arrow. I'm just going to also like center all this up so it looks a bit nicer to explain. And then our speed starts at one. Now I have a move on map lambda, so um, equals move on map from start cell and an arrow, uh, that's here. And a multiple is gonna be our speed. So if we have a speed of five, we're gonna move five cells, collect a lot of items, determine a new speed, and then repeat that process. Um, the map we're moving on is the lake. Our, um, what happens if you hit a wall is um, we stop, we don't go any further. And then I want, to say our allow map is the lake is not equal to x, so that's what's allowed to be moved on. And I do want to show the path. 
So this is just going to say I start at AH8 and I go to AG7. Let's just put in a start speed of 5 to build this model. Um, so let's say let um, addresses be uh, two row of that. Um, and then let's just spill that out. So just to explain this method briefly, what I want to do is I want to take um, a list of everywhere I go between here and the next move, um, depending on what my speed is, obviously. Check what items in there. Calculate my net speed difference of, of stuff I collect in here. Add it to my existing speed, and that's my new speed. And if I've visited as an item before, I also want to I want to spill these down here and check if I've been there before. And if I have, then don't um, give us that item. So let's say item is address the contents of um, uh, addresses on our lake. So let's show you what that looks like. So we have item. Uh, there we go. So this is what's in our thing. And then I want to say um, filtered items. So this is where I get rid of what we've been to before. Filtered item is um, if um, exists addresses in here. And I'll lock this first cell so it moves down with us. Um, let's just drag it out a bit more. That'll be fine. Um, then blank. Otherwise, give me the item. And then let's go um, FI to show you filtered items. So if the address exists before up here, so if I say AH8, it will now get rid of this, this item so it isn't collected. Um, so let's just uh, remove that. And then let's do a speed calculation. So our speed uh, is going to be um, if uh, item equals uh, the ice, give me one. Otherwise, if the Actually, it's the filtered item. I don't want to ca calculate the items. So <coughs> if the filtered item is an ice crystal, give me one. If the filtered item uh, is a snowman, give me minus one, otherwise give me zero. And then I want to do, uh, let's just show you what that looks like, speed. So this is now just saying, give me a one where there's a, uh, an ice crystal and minus one if there's a snowman. And basically what I want to do is sum these up and add them to the existing speed, and that's the new speed for the next go. So my speed <coughs> is just going to be uh, what we had before, plus the sum of that stuff. So that is my new speed. I also need to be careful here where I do this um, exists thing, because if this, this array grows, my exists lambda doesn't work. <coughs> so I actually want to put that in a two call, um, just so that works when I drag it down. So my final argument basically wants to be h stack the speed and the addresses. So now I have um, the new address can just be take uh, this and the last column. So my arrow's there, um, my speed's there, and then as I drag this down, we're, we're stuck at AC3, uh, basically, with the same speed. So I should just be able to drag that down now, um, same as this, and put this back to 1, which is the first step in the example. Sorry, the, the speed here and uh, the new speed is going to be the speed calculated from this this whole array thing. There's only one uh, caveat to that, which is if uh, every time this move number switches over, doesn't matter if your speed's at 0, 100, whatever, the speed resets to, to 1. So <coughs> I need to say if um, this equals this, do what I had there, otherwise do 1. And then at the end, we should land at um, we have a weird thing there where the formula didn't spill down. Anyway, we land at AB13, which is the example. So because some of this is not arrays, this is these are not. I'm just going to drag these down in case we go any further. Um, what else is not an array? This, this, this is an array, but it needs to be dragged down. And then I just want to say equals um, the last cell, and then we can just data table that, and we should be done. Um, annoying I didn't see this uh, method live because if I did it would have saved me a hell of a lot of uh, time. I basically played with it, tried to do it all in single cell with a reduce um, and so on. And it just, yeah, couldn't get it to work. But anyway, that is it. I guess I should explain some of these lambdas. This uh, address to contents is literally just indirect of the tab. Um, it doesn't actually use an indirect, but essentially that's what it's doing. Um, 
count occurrence to get the number of t-shirts. It's just doing what's the length of this minus the length of it when I substitute t-shirts for nothing. So that's a simple lambda. This one looks complicated uh, or looks clever, but it's, it's actually not. So if I go like this, let me just turn off that data table because it's slowing everything down. Um, a, B, C, D, E, F. So when you do um, a lot of formulas in Excel, they're actually like calculating a reference and not um, your result. And then that reference is like turning into your result. So what you can do is stuff like you can say X lookup um, one in here, return here. Um, I don't want to go to there. Right, and obviously that's going to give me an A. It's going to find one, give me an A. And I could say um, colon um, X lookup three in here, return here. And what that will do is it will actually give me everything from the first item to everything in the second item. Um, so if I change that to a, to a four, for example, it will now spill out the whole range. So all I'm doing here is saying, find what's in that cell in the map with my like indirect thing. So if it, instead of address to content, you could just do indirect and it would work exactly the same. It just spills out the whole um, square. And then my closest on map lambda, lambda is doing something exactly very similar. So it's taking a, a spot like this, and then it's saying, um, take that, and if my radius is, is two, for example, that would be a two radius from, from the center. It's basically just saying, um, index my map, but two rows and two columns back, colon, index my map, but two columns forward and down. Um, so then it's just spilling out that square. Then I'm doing like a, a distance calculation to say, um, what's the distance of all of the, the cell addresses that are in that range? Um, compared to my middle cell, and then if it's below the radius, um, based on diagonal or non-diagonal distance, then give me it back. So it's, it's very similar to the first one. Um, obviously this move on map stuff, I've got a whole video on that if you wanna see more about that. And that's, that's kind of all the lambdas I used in this, uh, I think. Yeah, cool, anyway, hope you enjoyed, see you next time.